what this drill is going to do is it's going to enable the player that has a tendency to spin and rotate too early, creating a short strike path. The no hips drill is all the player is going to do is go ahead and get in their good balanced stance. They're already going to take their steps, so they've already gone to toe touch and heel plant. Now all they're going to do is they're going to swing without turning their hips. We're going to try to get the player to feel that weight transfer without spinning and keeping the weight on the back side. So the player that has the early rotation and the short strike path will look like this. Notice that the back heel has gone past that vertical line versus now we're going to go ahead and do a no hips drill. We're simply going to go negative positive swing. Negative positive swing. Now they're going to get a feel for that weight transfer, keeping the hips flat, finishing the swing with the back toe literally on the dirt and not the ball of the foot with the weight back. Let's take a look right now at the no hips drill to keep you linear, transferring your weight forward and not spinning too early in the swing. Notice that the player is in a balanced position. Her feet are comfortably apart, both toes pointed towards the plate. She's got a slight bend in the knee and a slight bend at the hip. Her shoulders are square and her hips are square to the plate. Now she's just going to go into a negative positive move and swing with no hip spin. You'll notice how she'll finish with that back foot, her toe on the dirt. Now what you'll notice is the hips turn slightly, but that's just because the upper body is swinging. We want the player to get a feel for the drill, and that's the order. Although the hips actually start to turn, we're not spinning and keeping the weight on the back side. You'll notice when she finishes the swing, she's gone from the center to the front side in her weight transfer. Let's take a look. You'll notice how she firms up that front leg so she stays centered in the swing doesn't go beyond her front foot. She's creating a big strike zone. You'll notice how early the barrel gets in the zone and she has a long strike path hitting through the ball. A common problem with players that have a short strike path is that they pull out with that front shoulder and now draw a line across the strike path and now their contact zone is about a foot long right through here because they're coming across the strike path versus dropping the barrel in hitting through the strike path. What we do with the one arm drill you can use a youth bat and you're simply going to go ahead and put the bat in your right hand if you're a right handed hitter left hand if you're a left handed hitter and you're going to take your bare hand and you're just going to simply put it right above the tee. Now what you're going to do, you're going to go ahead and go in your stance. You're going to have your negative move and your positive move. You're going to go ahead and swing, but what you're going to do is you're going to keep this front hand here and swing under. Now why is this important? You can see that's helping me keep my front side in and understand that feel of how long that front side should stay in when I get ready to swing. Notice my backside, I'm not spinning and keeping my weight back. I'm transferring my weight to my front side. Let's take a look at the drill right now that's going to help you keep that front side in longer, creating a big zone when you put the club head through the ball. You'll notice that she's in a good stance with a bend in the knee, bend in the hips. She goes into her negative move, positive move, and then she swings. That back elbow drops down in front of the back hip, helping accelerate the club head through the zone.
A variation of that one arm drill is actually hitting with a wood training bat. I designed this wood training bat. I've shortened the barrel. Instead of swinging a 10 to a 17 inch barrel, you now are going to swing with a 6 inch club head. It's made of wood, so it emphasizes proper contact. If you're a little late or a little early, the ball will barely leave the infield. We can give you information at the end of the video to show you where you can go ahead and get these training bats. Let's take a look right now, a little bit more advanced, with a wood training bat, one arm drill to emphasize transferring that weight to the front side, being long through the zone, and hitting that ball. Let's take a look right now. If you do this drill correctly, as she moves the club head through the zone, it will be effortless, and you'll notice that she has good rhythm in the swing. She's keeping that bare hand out in front to keep that front shoulder and her torso.